We haven't done a first look in a while, and what better one to come back to than the John Deere 8000. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early first look and mod showcase of the John Deere 8000 series from JA Modding. He says the John Deere 8000 ER series is designed for the best performance with a six cylinder engine with its horsepower variations. The model includes several changes that were made to the tractor, making it as realistic as possible for players to enjoy. Once this is released for all platforms, you'll be able to find it right here as the John Deere 8110 8410. Starting off we got 180 horsepower it's got a power shift transmission 125 liters of fuel 31 mile per hour max speed which is great and it weighs seven tons as far as your wheel brands for this we've got Trelleborg, michelin continental midas bkt frankenstein and nook in tires and all of those we do have several different options and even a little couple interesting and fun ones like this one right here which i think would look great on any american farm jumping over to some michelin tire options here and we've got kind of the same stuff but we don't have any of those row crops like we did in the trailer board in continental some of my favorites are in here i love the way continental tires look on this yeah you got those big old tools on there even midas tires sitting here rocking and rolling and in the midas tires we do have those row crops which is really nice bkt's offer a nice wide range of big chunky tires and rodstein of course bringing the heat now nucky tires we do have all of those very very popular tires between the tractor king and the ground king so you can choose whatever you like i think today trelleborg with the rear narrow twins there you go so let's talk about some options so we have the optional front so we have standard we got a rock box you can do a front lift or three point you got to wait for the US and to wait for the EU. So no one is feeling left out here. At least I hope nobody feels left out here. You got something for everybody. We'll just throw on that US wait for now. Glass, we have a standard. We've got standard two, which is a darker color, an even darker color. And we even have like a, a light blue, which is really, really nice. Moving on to some side blankas. We've got standard ones on here, and then you've got some big ones. So if you're running duels like I am, these are going to be exactly what you want to go for. Moving on, we have some front mud guards. We have standard, standard two, back and forth, basically yes or no on there. I think it looks really good with it, so we'll leave it. Light style number two. So this is going to be a standard or standard two. Now, if you go with the regular standard, these are going to be bright yellow. However, if you go with the standard two, these are going to be white. So it's kind of like if you did like an LED conversion on this, it's really cool. So you can go with the old look or the new look. It'd be totally fine. Rear mud guards. Well, there, there's really not much of a mud guard. <laughs> it's just a little chaconk out right there. But hey, if you like it, go for it. It's all good. We also have a GPS on here. So you can throw that on the top if you really want to. You even get on the interior a nice Little, uh, little thing right there. And then lastly, your engine setups. So as I said, with the 8110, you got 180 horsepower. We have the 8210, which is a 205, 8310, which gives you 227. And then lastly, the 8410, which gives you 261 horsepower. Jumping back into the game and taking just a look around, you can see we've gone for some of the customization options, but not all of them, at least in the first version here. Also, there is one thing about this version specifically that will be changed with the final, and that is, well, the view is kind of centered around the top of the cabin, which makes it a little bit interesting to try and drive this thing around. Don't worry, that'll be fixed with the final version. If we take a look at the interior, of course, you can see here we've got some little spots around the top. It is a bit of an older tractor, so there's not a ton going on with this. Making our way around, you can see we've got a really, really nice console here to the side, and it's looking good, so let's turn it on. Inside, of course, most everything works exactly the way you would expect it to. Of course, you've got your direction change. You've got all of your different throttle bits and, and things like that, which is kind of nice. So with this specifically, you've got your brake and it looks like you probably have your clutch pedal down there as well. Uh, but your throttle is actually located right down here on the right. <laughs> you've got the bunny rabbit and you've got the turtle load there. You got some good power in here as well. As we mentioned, you've got anywhere between like 180 and 200 and some horsepower. This is going to be a really nice, maybe starting off tractor, really good medium tractor, well, smaller to medium tractor, but 
It is a very, very nice piece of equipment. And also, it drives really, really nice in first person. There's some good stuff with this. So what can we change as far as doing things with this? Well, we can raise and lower the steering wheel. If you're inside, you could do that. Also, if you're outside, you could see it does the same thing and our animation goes with it. However, uh, out of everything, that is the only little bit that you can control with this. And that's it. I know this was a short demonstration, but I just wanted to see, show you something fun and exciting and coming soon to all platforms from J.A. Monty. I want to thank him for sending this over to show you guys real quick. If you want to, check him out. I will leave some links in the description below so you go check him out. Tell him DJ sent you. And tell me, what do you think about this John Deere 8000 series? Excited about it? Hey, tell me. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.